Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy Cash, and I just had a fire ass interview. Mainstream Mondays, Hit Factory Radio with DJ Serato and Fatima, that baby. Make sure you tap the fuck in. Now you go follow me on Instagram, I am Cash. That's I A M C A S H E. We got a whole lot of shit. Just follow me. YouTube, all that. Yo, it is Mad DJ Killer K. Man, it's Rhyme Old KR. Young Mon T2F, Jimmy Drill Woo. What's up? It's your boy Chad Alexander. I'm rocking with Main Street Monday. Main Street Monday. Main Street Monday. Main Street Monday on Hit Factory Radio. Hit Factory Radio. Hit Factory Radio. The real station in the world. Hit Factory Radio. Not Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, love. No, Monday. Main Street Monday. Welcome back, Mainstream Mondays. Yep, and we are back. Yeah. I'm your girl for Team of That Baby alongside the least you expected, you know. Of course. Serato Kid. Kid. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Y'all tune in to Mainstream Mondays, of course. Shouts out to uh, the Henny and T for the new year, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. New season, new year, new episode, you know what I'm saying? First episode of the new season. And of course, uh, we got a special guest in the building, too. Yes, we do. You know what I'm saying? You know, okay. Let him introduce himself and talk to the people. What's up, what's up, what's up? Cash is in the building. Finally on Hit Factory Radio about time. Yes, sir. Okay. Long overdue, family. Long overdue. We got, what is it? West Coast in the building? No, no, no. He no, from the no, crib. He no, from the crib. What you talking about? No, I'm, yo, you know what, yo, I was er- red. Yo, everybody always asks me, yo, you from the West Coast? You from da 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 Yeah. I was born in California. Okay, then. So I'm not tripping. But I was tripping. raised in Dade County. <laughs> Period, because yeah. I know that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So everybody always... So you're from the crib? Yeah, I'm from the crib. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I can talk you to, you know, talk the lingo and you understand me, huh? Of course, man. I was raised in Liberty City, man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Far from California. Did you ever go back to Cali, though? Did you? Yeah, Um, I went back 2019 for my first... Um, BT Awards. Nice. Okay. Um, I, I did the carpet when I was signed to Kevin Lou. You oh. know what I'm saying? So, Bougie. yeah, that was my first first time back since I was a, a, a young a youngin. Wow. Okay. So you grew up here in Miami. Yeah. So tell us, how was that? Um, what high school you went to? <laughs> or which? How many? I went to high school in Kendall. So when um, I also grew up Kenny. in Atlanta. <laughs> nah, you know what? <laughs> we used to play Killian all the time, but I went to Sunset. Oh, so what happened okay. was, um, I was also raised in Atlanta as well. So oh, when wow. I so when I moved back with my pops, you know what I'm saying? I was uh, went to like middle school for one year, and then I went to high school in Kendall. I went to Sunset, played ball for Sunset. We played against Killian all the time. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And you started rapping since a young age, right? right? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. I started writing when I was like eight. It was like um. You know, because I was I fell in love with music early. Oh. And my pops and my moms played played music in the crib. I was like three. Started. I said I really started performing at three. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. So I your to, family, obviously, like. Right? Yeah, right. I used to do like dance contests, young and all oh, of that cute. stuff. And when I was in school, I was in magnet programs. Talent shows and stuff. Yeah. So it's just something that was natural that I always. Who was doing. the first rapper you were listening to that inspired you to do this? Oh man. Um. It was two. Well, I'm going to say three. The first one was um, my pops used to play this LL Cool J album in the crib. Okay. Which was the My Radio album. Okay. And, and um, I remember seeing him, like, perform on TV and the videos and you know, yeah. all that stuff. And he used to have on, like, the track suits. With, you know, the I'm jacket. Like, I'm, like, this nigga, I'm like, yeah, this nigga here fly. Like, <laughs> like whatever he's doing, like, I want to do that. He fly. <laughs> right. And then it was uh, Eric B and Rakim, and then it was Hove after that. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Who do you like from the crib, though? What's up, um, Trick Daddy? Like, what's going um, on, Trina? From the crib. You know what I'm saying? I Iceberg, mean, Piccolo, there's so many. We're pretty rick, even though. I'm very, know? very, very picky, but the guys I'm listening to from the crib, um, I always listen to Kodak. Briscoe. I always listen to Briscoe. Like okay. Briscoe is one of my like all time favorites from the crib. Um, Mike Smith from down south. He's okay. definitely one of my favorites right now. Ghost Rider, one of my favorites right now. Okay, okay. Um, my, 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 uh, Tafia is like okay. He's fire. I got like he's, he's in my top three right now. Great. I fucks with Zoe. 
Zoe, of course. Zoe's my dog. I fuck with Zoe Trump real heavy. Project as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, so I fuck with the guys who really put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, those are the guys who I fuck with the most. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Definitely, man. You know, I, I I knew bro for a minute, uh, long before this interview today. So we 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 have a relationship that you know being here today is like a reunion, and it's yeah. a long overdue okay. situation for right. us. We have been supposed to make this happen. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So right. definitely, um, man, I've been around. You know, when he was dropping records like 20. 15 i would say 2015 when he was yeah. giving me records yeah. wow. and ever since then i just stayed intact with what he had going on even we we have so much of a, a connection all the time yeah but i was always on the up and up of what you had going on yeah and you got the sony situation and, yeah. and a few other things i don't want to say too much but you know <laughs> yeah. what i'm saying but yeah. i was just i seen it you know what i'm saying i was still yeah. there and, and i was there in spirit of course and then yeah. last time you see me we was in the same it building. The same building, yeah. It came full circle. It was yeah. in this building. And I was on crutches. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was on, was that's on when I was on, that that's when my oh foot. Oh, my that goodness. Was, yeah, so that was like three years yeah, ago then yeah. when we seen that, when that situation, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. man. We, we, we got some history and it's long overdue. And of course, I got some new exclusive music too. So I, I love right. that I got the exclusives, you know what I'm saying? Fact. So, but, but before we get into that though, you know what I'm saying? Um, chime in and let the people know. Uh, just as far as the upbringing and, and the music, where did it all start? As far as where, the, where, where you said I really got this going on, man. Um, I'm gonna take this for real, for real. Then, you know. Well, you know, being that I was writing young, I think I really like started like freestyling, like in, in middle school and high school, and mm -hmm. just perfected that and was trying to like figure out because I didn't have no mentors, but I do yeah. got a I do got an older like stepbrother, and he was like. And he's from the Bronx and shit. Oh, so he yeah, was. That's why. So when he moved to Miami, he was oh. like teaching me how I to like. Sauce. Yeah, he was teaching me how to structure my bars and shit. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so wow. he was like, "Yo, you gotta learn how to count bars. Like when you yeah. rap, you can't just be da da da. You gotta." I'm like, "Oh, okay, we okay, need okay, more okay." People like that this day. Yeah. Yeah, like listen, like artist yeah. development, low key. That's what he was Facts. doing. Yeah. So I, so I always been like a student. So yeah. I was so. What he was doing, he was putting me on to the legends and the greats. He was like, look, you got to listen to that. And you see how you do this, see how I do this. So that's what really started training my ear, right? Mm -hmm. So after high school, I went to the military. I was in the Navy. Okay. So yes. I how was that? It was like college, but making money <laughs> in college, right? So I got into all types of... Y'all still doing your thing like college too, though? Man, I got, oh, I got right, in, right, yeah, I got in all types of trouble. Just, <laughs> but did you ever go to like any like deployed anywhere or no? Um, no, I never got deployed anywhere. I never, uh, I never stayed in long enough to get on the ship. I did one four years, and and that was it. Mm. I was lucky enough because I didn't really want to be on the ship. I want to show duty the whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, I went to Texas for my tech school in okay. Texas, right? Mm -hmm. So. I was like rapping against niggas of Texas. Then I went to Virginia. So in Virginia, you know, niggas was really on that rap shit. Oh yeah, yeah, they got it. Yeah, it's in the culture over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the coat, like it's heavy. So um, I was stationed in Norfolk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in Norfolk, you know, them niggas was like, I never seen nothing like it because we didn't have none of that down here mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. So you talking about like niggas? Was, Miami. Yeah, like DTLR. You know, yeah. DTLR up there had been up there for years. Yeah, it was a movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up there, but mm -hmm. it never was down here. So, but they used to do some shit like every Friday or Saturday or something. They come through that DJs, niggas, they have battle contests. I was battling. That's niggas, dope. Battling. That's so fucking cool. Yo, listen. I wish I would have that here. Yo, yeah. I was. Battling, we do it now. Like yeah, like now. <laughs> we but, do it now. Yeah. I was bound like five, six, seven niggas at a time, and I'm Damn. a nigga from Miami. Like, like some eight mile shit, uh, like in the uh, movie. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. Like that's how I was. So that's what you know. And but it's like rep where you from too, type shit too, right? Right. Yeah. So right. what was you repping? I was telling them I was from the crib. Yeah. <laughs> I was, listen, I was telling I'm from them Miami. I, yeah, like it was like yeah. yeah, like yo, you, like yo, they rap like that down there. I'm like yeah, yeah, like you know what I'm I saying? Do. Right. But we got a stereotypical thing that goes on about Florida artists. So that's why it be coming as a surprise sometimes when they hear certain artists. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what yeah, yeah, yeah. They I, already be thinking we're going to just make booty music. Yeah, shit like listen, that. I got that my whole career. But I got yeah. that from people here, too. You know what I'm saying? People I mean, because like, it's expected. Like, yeah, you like, have to have at least one booty track. Nah, you ain't got nah. to. You ain't got to. Nah, I never did a booty record. No, nothing is mandatory. No, it's not mandatory, but it's cute. <laughs> You're a female. She wants something. She wants something. Well, <laughs> I, I just never did a booty record, but no, I have more commercial, done. some more commercial. No, 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 no. But I, hey. no, but I did records 
Cause you know everybody has a go mm. to the strip club. They gotta go through the strip club. Okay. Yeah, market, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I done did records to where it fits that platform, but never yeah. how the regular Dade County dudes do it. I just did something that just fits that. You know you what I'm saying? You know, do no yeah. music. Ain't no. <laughs> no. Nah, no, man, he good. Listen, man. no, but no respect. <laughs> Yo, you gotta, listen. You gotta hear his music and then you'll say something. Listen, you'll think no otherwise of what you said. To do you speed ju- up your music? No. No. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Let I'm me tell you something. She ready for you. She wants some ratchet music. Listen, no, I'm not. Oh, I okay. rap. I don't judge. Listen, I'm I biased. rap way, way too well to yeah. do to to speed it up or to you know yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, I gotta hear it then. You tell you. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay, like, I gotta hear. You, it. Will you know what it is? Like, I haven't heard the sound, so I don't know right. what I'm expecting. You know. Mm-hmm. And you're from the crib, so I'm from the crib. I'm like, I'm expecting some fly shit. Some mm-hmm. Rasta, no, no, you know? I got, no, I got fly shit. It's just. It's just you know, my version of it. I That's just like a, music sped up a little bit. You feel me? Just <laughs> oh, Lord, she I lit. do, I do. <laughs> Yo, I don't care for it. That ain't my preference. You know, I like you music. You speed up the music, stop it. No, I like music, though. I, I mean, need, yeah, I, I like music. I love up. all type of music. Oh, okay. Well, it just depends on vibe. Well, speaking of music, so let's just go ahead and get into one. Um, What we do on this on, on Mainstream Mondays, uh, you, you'll uh, give us the song you want to drop first. Right. But before you uh, we drop it, you're going to give us a background behind how it being created or what the process right. was for the song. And right. then, we'll introduce, then you'll introduce the song. Right. So. Okay. So um, I want to play the Big Shit record. Cause that's the one we dropped the video for like um, probably like a month or two ago. We dropped the video. Mm-hmm. And that's featuring um, a female artist from Boston by the name of Dutch Rebel. And she's dope. Okay. She's one of the hottest female artists out of Boston right now. Wow. Shout out to her. Um, Dutch Rebel. She, yeah, she is. She is extremely dope. She's also in like the Grammy family shit that helps vote for the art. Yeah, like she dope, mm. dope. Oh wow! Okay. Right. Okay. So, He's like, uh, I got that in the bag. <laughs> okay, I know that's right. Right. So, um, my manager, my, uh, my manager right now, CEO Muye Gang, shout out to him. He, he he said, Yo, I got a record. I got a dope, dope, dope record. He sent me the record, and like it just clicked. I was like. I want to talk that big boy talk on this record. Mm. So that's why it's called the Big Shit Record. Um, I came up with the hook for me and her. I wrote the verse. I said, yo, I got a record for you to jump on. I say, this is what I need you to do. This is how I need you to sound. Just talk your shit on the record. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she and she flew down here to come drop her verse. And everything else was history. And we just performed this record. Shout out to DJ E. Feezy at the oh. second annual um, Florida. Uh, the Flair. Yeah, the Flair. Yeah, event I showcase. mean, it was out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was out there. I remember. Listen, okay. and we shut that shit down. Everybody get up out their seat for this record. I love it, Feezy. Okay. So, okay. this is the big shit record. If you ain't heard it yet, we ain't even dropped this on streaming platforms yet. But oh, so it's an exclusive? This it's an is exclusive. A oh. It's not even out, exclusive. but the video is out. You can go watch the video after you hear this record. So, big shit. Um, featuring Dutch Rebel, you know. It's big drip, it's big money, it's big whip, big forest, nigga. Everything big shit, nigga. You already know what's up. You're tuned in to Mainstream Monday. Big dogs, big homies talking big shit. Big forest, big bodies pushing big whips. Big deals, big cash talking big chips. Big business, big hustle, this is big shit. Big Dutch boss chick with the big six. Slim waist, thick body, make a bitch sick. Big ice, big flights, talking big trips. Big bills, big tickets, talking big rich. Big business, nigga, I'm a boss, you a peon. I was pushing peas before niggas put the pee on. Prime time, get the high stepping like Dion. Raining on niggas before a hoe put re on. Back when one O and a six can get a free on. Coldest nigga out since they invented the free on. So much ice, the limit niggas can ski on. Mr. Big Budget, these verses come with a fee on. Mm. Big watches come with the big boxes. The automars for all stars with big pockets. Wrist rocking, don't drown from wrist watching. Wrist flooding, big faces, big popping. Big dripper, bitch bagger, big whipper. Big stepper, Mick Jagger, big flipper. Big rhymer, rap cities like big ticker. Big timer, shine brighter than big dippers, motherfucker. Big dog, big homie talking big shit. Big farms, big bodies pushing big whips. Big deals, big cash talking big chips. Big business, big hustle, this is big shit. Big Dutch boss chick with the big six. 
slim waist, thick body, make a bitch sick. Big ice, big flights, talking big trips. Big bills, big ticket, talking big rims. French petty toes, couple zoes in the sand. Shots got them popping cooler on my cat in my brand. In Cancun, quick to boom on a dude. Check your mans, two loops with the hands. Send blows like a fan. Uh. Oh, they want me on my fly talk. That freak Nick, Lady Luke, watch me skywalk. Big chips, need a coupe, bending sidewalks. With your chest if you press, ain't no side talk. Huh. Focused on my future, still I'm about my stick talk. So he keep my body shaking like I'm doing TikToks. Bet she made it out the rubble, tell her hater, kick rocks. Guess I bust a big shot, since you ain't no big shot. Huh. Black mogul mindset, run me my check. On my new shit, still a whole vet. Keep the flow hot, keep the lips wet. Keeping me grilled while I be stuck. Uh, big dog, big homie talking big shit. Big farms, big bodies pushing big whips. Big deals, big cash talking big chips. Big business, big hustle, this is big shit. Big Dutch boss chick with the big six. Slim waist, big body, make a bitch sick. Big ice, big flights talking big trips. Big bills, big ticket talking big rich. Tuned in to Mainstream Monday. Mainstream this is a Hit Factory Radio exclusive. That's the one right there. That's the one right there. You got that shit. How you feel? I like that he, one. he told you he didn't have to speed up none of his records. Oh, he didn't have to. Oh, it was oh, okay. already oh, sped oh, okay. up enough okay. for me. No, we got a we got a believer. <laughs> now. We got a believer now. We got a believer. I got a believer. No, 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 I'm a no. believer. I don't think she'll believe yet. We're gonna get on the next record. <laughs> I, I think we got an that interest. Like she intrigued right now. She intrigued right now. We're gonna get on the next. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get on. She, she kind of like biting the lip right now. Like I was like, oh, a little bit of sweet. You know. Yeah. Like, that was yeah, fine. Yeah, we're gonna get on the next. Very unexpected. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good one. That's a banger right there. Okay. Definitely, I would push that one. You like that one? For sure. Okay. I would push oh. that one. What's your yeah. name again? I like her a lot. Her name is Dutch Rebel. D U T C H Rebel. R E B E L L E. Dutch Shorty, she's fire. I was like, damn, she's fire. Yeah, she definitely. Yo, listen. Go follow Dutch Rebel right now on Instagram. She's from out of Boston. She is one of the hottest female rappers out of Boston. This is without a doubt. I co sign her for sure. Hmm. For sure, for sure, for sure, without a doubt. There's some pretty cool all people right. could come from Boston, but I just don't like Boston. It's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Hey, hey, every Florida person complain about the weather. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a, I'm a cold fan, and even though I'm straight from Florida, I like the recent time, just like a week or two ago, when it was like, oh man, it's gonna get a little cold. I've been in New York. This ain't cold. It's nice. I feel good. I was out with my t-shirt. People wrapping up with boots and, and yeah, sweaters. Yeah, that shit felt I'm like nice, it felt though. good. But I, I hate the cold. I hate the cold, bro. Well, uh, when it's too damn cold. When it's too cold. When it's too damn cold, Listen, you can't think. You know what I'm saying? I lived in North Dakota before. Ooh. And that that's shit. a different kind of cold, ain't it? Yeah, that shit is different. Is it colder than New York? What? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm scared to go now. And I'd have been in Chicago. Chicago mm-hmm. is Chicago's a, windy. No, Chicago is brick. I, it was pretty yeah. cold. I'm not going to lie. It was really windy. I couldn't open the doors. <laughs> I was I Especially, Ooh. especially near like the Great Lakes area, yeah. it's like yeah, it's retarded. Yeah. So as far as in the U.S., like what is like one of the main ones that's like okay, in in the U.S. is the coldest area. What is it like Colorado or? Nah, Colorado. I went to Aspen. That bitch is cold. Is it white? <laughs> yeah. It's cold. Michigan, anything like that? I don't know between Chicago and North Dakota. I mean, it just depends. Well, probably it, on your experience. What was yeah. your what's your most yeah. coldest area on your experience? Man. It might it, it had to be North Dakota because I ain't I didn't experience snow in Chicago, mm-hmm. but North Dakota is different. That that shit oh I heard North Dakota is mad cold. Like, it's it's mad cold. different. Like it's what's different. the population over there? Shit, the like hell small. if I know. But I tell you this, ain't much black people up there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's for sure. They definitely don't visit. I heard like they're that. not nice over there. <laughs> Okay. You are not nice. Ain't nobody nice up there. Can't yeah. be. I heard they're very mean. <laughs> oh, really? I have a okay. friend, yeah. They went to, like, college over the football or something. It's, okay. cr- it's, it's crazy up I there. I heard they were like, oh, they were so mean. I was like, oh, Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's Those cold as hell. I'll, I'll be angry, too. <laughs> get, get me out of there. Frustrated? <laughs> get me out of there. All right. Well, uh, speaking of uh, nice and not nice, right. uh, we're going to get into another nice record. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we're going to pop some more after that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what you want to roll into next, big dog? Um, let's go into this record, um, featuring, yo, 
Okay. This record is called Designer Sex, right? So. Mm, whoa. Okay. <laughs> yo, listen. So it's a so it's a vibe record. Yo, listen, listen, listen. So. I'm listening. Go ahead, bro. My cousin, oh. which is uh, Castro. Mm-hmm. He's a producer. Producer, right? Yeah. He's okay. he's from here. He's well known to he's work nice, with. Very nice. I know. Very nice. He produced this record. Um, the R&B artist that's featured on this record is Kev Cam. He is incredible. Please, he's incredible. If I'm telling you, he mm-hmm. he's he he's now he's now and next up. He's he's the now next. He's the now next. Mm-hmm. Um, this record is in the cut. Nobody else has heard this record. Period. Wow. Yeah. We're so, so hey, special. This hey, is the hit factor. Nobody has heard this record. Serato is my man. Come on, man. So I say, okay. he said, yo, send okay. me some records. Mm-hmm. I said, let me send him this record. Nobody heard this record. I, I need this whole pack. Nobody heard this record other than my team and my management team. Oh. So mm. I hope my manager ain't mad at me that we're going to give y'all a sneak peek of this record because this record might come out in 2023. Oh, mm-hmm. it is already 2023. So. Facts. So let's jump into that, man. It's a crazy record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You ready man, to mainstream Monday? Mainstream Monday. I know, baby. I've been come ride with the boy. Chandeliers and marble floors. Uh, Ain't much I can't afford, I let it explore. The finer things, design a spree, spin some guitar. She performed for the boy like I took on tour. Pretty face, brown skin, think it's lyrical law. VVS's on the necklace, invested for sure. My mafia coast, we blowing smoke, sex on the shore. This ain't nothing like your last, your ex was a bar. My Mona Lisa, melanated with better features. My Coretta, you such special, leave heaven speeches. Picture perfect, emotion picture, ain't nothing sweeter. Between the sheets, Marvin Gaye, it's like a deep. My two-seater, my senorita, you down to ride. I can see it in your eyes, you catching the vibe. Body language giving signs, you want to be mine. Name tatted on the neck, now she certified. Cruising in the Maybach, two-tone, pitch black, backseat, kickback. Anywhere I'm with that, yeah, you know the vibe. See it in your eyes, yeah, you're going to fall in love. He don't put it down like me. Who's going to keep it real like me? There's a maiden in my bed. In between Versace sheets, that designer said. Damn, I dig your styling. How you moving silence? Body and designer, you don't need a stylist. Try you out private, put you on an island. Whatever you want, girl, you know it's yours. Kept you in designer, dinners is the finest. Trip you out in diamonds. Chanel on your body, can nobody do you better? Who's gonna keep it wet all night? Let me take you out the hood, put you in the hills. Show you how to be a boss, now you closing deals. Invested in your vision, now you grossing meals. Tory versus Birkin purses, Fendi for the feels. Can rearrange your life, that's a makeover. Maybach Monday, Saturday for the Range Rover. The high life, the overdose from the hangover. Private flights remote, that's a layover. Cruising in the Maybach, two-tone, pitch black, backseat, kickback. Anywhere I'm with that, yeah, you know the vibe. See in your eyes, yeah, you're gonna fall in love. He don't put it down like me. Who's gonna keep it real like me? There's a maiden in my bed. In between Versace sheets, that designer says. Monday night, seven it's a vibe. You're tuned in to mainstream that's Monday. Cute. Mainstream <laughs> Monday. That's 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 that was cute. It's the vibe. Yeah, it's definitely that nice, man. Cute. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's definitely that set the vibe. That's definitely set the mood. That's that five a.m. However you looking at that situation, whether you up at five in the bed or you five a.m. on the way home, you getting freaky with this song. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the things she could have said. Okay. All right. It's just designer sex. Yeah. Yo, listen. I it's, wanna, a, it's self-explanatory. I, I want something grown and sexy. But it's just super grown and sexy. sexy. Like some Jay Holiday shit. Like, yeah. Like. I now, I now I'm ready for some visuals. For, or now I'm ready to see what it'll look like. In a, in a, in a, in a, as far as the story or Versace art to it. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And, right. Bad and I, I know Versace you're going to put it together sheet. real nice. So. <laughs> what, what's she? <laughs> she lit. <laughs> I'm just giving content ideas. Okay. 
Yeah. yeah, that's the grown and sexy vibe, man. You yeah. know, we just wanted something for the ladies to feel mm-hmm. sexy, too. That's it. Definitely. So, do he need to speed this up? I always speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and take it down slow. Hey, hey yeah. she lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I just like to twerk sometimes, you know, so. Yeah. You know. I mean, but I do that. like my you, slow you don't, song, you, don't you know, for every. You don't need fast to twerk, though. No, for, you know, exactly. I can twerk to that, you know. Like, twerk is like a thing. slow fashion of wine, right? Like, yeah, you can, so you yeah, can Like, wine. slower, you can be whining. It's fine. <laughs> <This guy. laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying, like, if you still want to <laughs> dance, like, right. if you're still trying to dance, then, yeah, you know. Right, right, right. It's still right. going to be fun. It's still a fun track. I'd still dance to it. Like, yeah. I would say it's more seducing, though. I do like the first one better, but. Yeah, yeah it's two different much. vibes. Nah, both, I, I fuck with both of them. Cause it, I mean, it's, they're both It's, r- it's two fine. different contents for me, and exactly. I think versatility is what wins in this game. Like, I would play that if I'm, like, in the car with a dude, and I'm trying to set the mood. I'm like, I'm write this song. Okay, so that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Designer. yeah, that's the vibe. Mm-hmm. Give the clue that I like designer. Okay. Yeah. Sex designer, you know? Okay, so. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Definitely. Uh, Hit Fatty Radio Mainstream uh, Mondays, we have a segment um, that we do. That's perfect way I segue into it. Uh, is what's on your playlist? What's your car playlist? And um, it may not be too many. may not be, you know, but it may be a lot. But mm-hmm. uh, give us five songs out the car playlist. That's on your car playlist. Oh. Whether it's yours or not. Mm, it got to be. I, but it shit, don't have I just to be name yours. the artist? Got, yeah, it, it could be just instead the artist. Of the, instead of the actual record? Yeah, it could just be the artist. Okay, so I got Nip. Mm-hmm. Nip in my playlist. Um, right now, that Drake at Twenty One mm-hmm. is in the playlist. Fire. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty good. Um, of course, I got some Hove in my playlist. Okay, mm-hmm. I got some Nas in my playlist. Absolutely. And I got a new record that I just uh started bumping. I got mm-hmm. that Mimi and and Shay. It's called Spaceships. Oh, okay, yeah. self record. Your record? Nah, it's not my record. Oh, okay. But it's my wife. She's in a group. Oh, she, your, with your my wife cousin. is an artist? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Sings. Yes, it's a record called Spaceships, and that's a crazy record. Wow, okay. that's a fucking dope. Okay, okay. Where is it? It's out. <laughs> it's it's out. out already. Where's the yeah, track? It's out. It's out. It's out right now. You mm-hmm. go stream it. All DSPs, right? All DSPs. Me, me, and Shay. It's called okay. Spaceships. It's a crazy R&B record. Y'all go stream that. I like that. that. I want okay. R&B to come back. Yeah. Well, nah, it never left. What are you talking about? No, no, no. It we just left. need more love out here. It's That's all. Yeah. The only thing is, we was o- oversaturated with trash. Now yeah. That, now that the dumpster so been trashy. dumped. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Now that the dumpster been dumped, it bring it back real music. Exactly. Right, right, right. Yeah, we still need, well, We still got some work to do in hip hop, though. Yeah. Oh my God. Ma- make it more <laughs> love. Versus hate. Make it more right, love than hate. Right. And that, that's it. Just Thanks. change the narrative. Right. You know. But it's all good, man. Definitely. Um, You want to chime in before I get into my next segment with him? No, go go for it. Okay. <laughs> well, right uh, ahead, sir. Th- this is my uh, last segment. We've been doing this for a while. Fortunately, somebody stole it from us and named it. But uh, we're still going to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, It's called I Don't Say No Names. Okay. Have you ever had a situation in your, your branding or music coming up? Whether it was funny, fucked up, or wow, or just straight weird. Mm. You want to give us one of those stories, but don't say no names. No names involved. Mm. What a big artist. Whether it's big or little. Um, Any weird, strange encounter, funny? Oh. Well, it could be funny and fucked up. Dope. Well, it could be cool. I, uh, it doesn't have to be negative. This is not a, a, a bad thing, so I could say his name, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So every time I, I've been running into DJ Khaled since probably 2005. His face is mm-hmm. right there. Do you see it? Yo. Hi, <laughs> 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 we got his face. Yo, Khaled. Yo, Khaled. <laughs> yo. We got his face. Please put it right, on the camera. All right, look, Salma. Producer. Yo, yo, yo. Let me hold that. <laughs> so oh. tell the story with DJ Khaled like that. I right, so bet. DJ so DJ Khaled <laughs> was the first DJ in Miami to ever play one of my records. As wow, that's big. That's mm-hmm. This one, DJ Khaled was um, on 99 Jams, and he was spinning that bass side hut. I don't know if you remember that, yeah. Serato. Oh, wow. He used to spin that bass side hut. I think it was Friday nights in the hip-hop room, mm-hmm. right? So he was the first DJ ever in the city to spin one of my records. This had to be like 0405. Wow. Right? So every time I run into Khaled, Khaled gives me this look. <laughs> like, yeah. damn, I know this nigga from somewhere. Yeah. Right? So every time I see him, he just give me this look. So I know he recognized me, but he just can't put a mm. to it. So every time I see him, I bump into him, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always love. He always show me love. You got to tell him, like, yo, you play my song at the club you used to work at, bro. Nah, yo, I haven't had a chance to tell him the story, but next time I run into him, you got to tell him the story. Like, yo, you remember that? That's where you remember yeah. me from, bro. You remember like, yeah, you know, he's the crazy. first DJ. So whenever I get on, like, I go to the breakfast club or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let I, it be known. I'm going to let it be known. Yo, DJ Khaled was the first, first DJ ever. You probably don't even know. I <laughs> <laughs> But that was his thing, though. He's big on breaking records, so, you know what I'm saying? Especially was, back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he yeah. was super humble then, you know Facts. what I'm saying? So he was definitely good at that. And, and that's what we need for the culture on, on a bigger scale as far as the, the ratio of it. Not mm. saying that people don't do it, but the ratio needs to be a little better. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, right. more of it need to happen. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And um, that's really what, the, what, what, what I would say our, our brand and what the culture in South Florida is kind of like doing in the last, like, year or so maybe. Been getting a wave of working with certain artists that they may not have never talked to before. Just yeah. really getting more transparent with other artists and networking. And hey, we in this shit together for real, for real now. Mm-hmm. Like it's more real time than okay, I'm just on the gram. You you can't talk to me unless you paying me type shit. Yeah, that, like that is over shit. now. Yeah, it's like over like now for that. Stuff. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like if you have nothing to bring to the table, like shut up, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, team, are you funny? No, I'm just so serious. <laughs> like artists be like, I'm here, man. I'm cool. Spicy, not I, she, I got she's a million spicy, followers. Not show, yeah, man. you got a million followers, but your music is trash. <laughs> like you don't have no hits. Like it doesn't matter about your one million followers. It means nothing. It's if, trash. If, if you're not no, transparent no, no, with right. the people, you're pretty fire, right. though. I ain't lying. Damn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, when I was on the 99, when I did the 99 Jams interview, like mm-hmm. I said it, like I was like, Yo, we just need a little bit more unity and, and, for, and for artists to really like come together and um you know what i'm saying just start working together and really start supporting each other because we got so much talent here but the major labels and shit like that don't really come here looking for the talent no they go yeah. to la you well, know what i'm saying they go to all we, these we're just starting to set a structure yeah yeah yeah, yeah. In so 30 that's years we're just now just starting, now starting to, set to get some type of structure and yeah. we need other platforms other than yeah. us performing at the strip club we need other yeah. platforms other ways of artists being able to be seen and heard because not every artist is a strip strip club club performing artist right so we need other platforms we need other ways for artists to be heard shit like this for artists to come up get their music played be seen be heard definitely you know what i'm saying get a chance to speak and stuff like that so we need things like this so Thank y'all, you know what I'm saying, for yeah. creating this platform. And we, we, and we try to work with so many different people. Like, we had a, we, we do events too. with live bands and stuff. Yes. Yeah. We do, definitely. like, the intimate settings and stuff. And then right. we do, like, performances where everybody hip-hop, R&B, whatever you, you know. So right. we, we, we try to stay with the culture because it's hard to really get it going when, you know, not so many people on the same side of it as you, yeah, as you are. Right. But... Because we set structure almost eight years now. You know what I'm saying? It's been like, hey, listen, we have to get back out here and do what we need to do for the people. Because in the last, like, three, four years, it's been scamming, manipulation, you know, deceiving. Yeah. All these things have been taking place. And right. I'm just like, I, 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 I sit back and shame myself if I don't do something about it. Right. I don't feel good. Maybe it's not a big percent or the team is not a big percent for us to be recognized like that. But... On our end, on our part, right. we're going to take it up another notch and stick up for the culture that's for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the legit people. Yeah. And when that's I, facts. And I interviewed yeah. Kodak. I even asked him, like, yo, who do you think you think Miami's the next hot city for music? He said, yes. He's like, we already are. Yeah, because we got so much talent Kodak's down here, yeah. but for some reason, like. It's just not clicking. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not clicking. It's like, not clicking. we get an artist to break through, like, probably every every 10 years yeah and it's crazy they don't let like, us it's like they don't let us break through like <laughs> like it's like damn like can we get an artist to break but like i'm very competitive so it's yeah. like we need an artist that we need artists that can compete right that with can the, compete with the masses. but without hate without no, without like extreme no, we, hate. no 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 we, no no we just no, no, no beef we're just talking about music and talent, talking about talent. And talent yeah. wise yeah, yeah, yeah. no no beef wise just like no not beef like it's like yo like when they mention the Drakes, the Coles, and these guys yeah, who, we, who, we talking who's talent. running the game. We need Drake's somebody from to Toronto compete. too. He ain't from here. No, 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 no. We're not talking about that. We talking about like in general in in the hip hop genre mm-hmm. when they talking about these these guys who's been running the game for you know what I'm saying because mm-hmm. Ross is Ross is already solidified. Ross already mm-hmm. like he chilling and he yeah. just raps because he enjoyed doing it. Mm-hmm. So it's like who else is gonna carry the torch to be able to compete? Ross yes. was who the last him? artist who can compete. You know, jump on the record with Hove and and, and these other guys yeah. and yeah. compete talent yeah. wise and mm-hmm. and musically. 
So it's like, okay, so who's going to be the next one to The really only person we have right now is Kodak, but, you know, we need some kind of a, mm. with else, a little balance. I right, saying, we need balance. I don't think he's going to get a Jay-Z feature. I don't think he that dead yet. Right. No, he got a mature yet. line. Obviously, he's very immature. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's I, awesome. I, I love Kodak. He has so much see, talent. But, like, but, but what's funny, he's though, fire. I would say, in my personal opinion, he's not fire. because he's here, I believe he will get a better chance before Kodak. Well, That's yeah, because his belief. bars are different. Yeah, no, actual right. bars. It, it's, it's, it's actually music. And so does Kodak. It's, it's Kodak, actually music with good content. Meaning yeah, yeah. it doesn't lead to negativity. It doesn't lead to beef. It doesn't lead to an op. It doesn't lead to uh, addictions right. of any drug, party, right. money, girls, whatever. Right. And it also matches it more with the Jay-Z that. vibe and the, and the more but that's what I'm the saying. hip-hop, real like rap, you, lyricist if, vibe. If you're just going off an of artist and what they laid to the, you know, that's why I say I'm vouching for him because he has that content that Jay-Z would like, you know what? Yeah, and he we need to have really some artists in Florida to pop like that because New York got Jay-Z, but they also got, you know, they, they had Pop Smoke, but they right. got Fabio, you know, right, he's right, a street right. dude, you know, right. he's playing the street stuff. Right. But, but they, you still they, got they Jay-Z if you want to have some, like, real hip-hop stuff. Right. So we should have a little bit of everything, but we just have one. Just I have know what you're one. saying. We just so have, it's just one. We just have the street content and we have the club content, but yeah. we don't have any anything else to balance yeah, it out, right? Like we don't, yeah. You know. yeah, so that's just what we need to break through the door. We, we got need the city girls, but that's just right. rap. And, and the more bigger fest that we have down here got to get involved, too, Yeah, with the in-town yeah. artists. The right. So they bring everybody we but us to the stage. stage. Yeah, right, period. right, right. Shit, just, but Tafia you know, rocked I, out I, I don't want to feel like year. I'm the only person that felt that. Like, every time it's a big stage platform. Rolling Loud. All the way to Rolling Loud in yeah. the quality statue. Right. It's never They don't us. have a, you, you both have at least 10 to 20 artists. From here. From here. They're always from somewhere Whether else. Whether it's a big name or a up and coming. At that least five. That got a buzz. At, at I least five. I would say ten because you got at least a yeah. hundred Oh, yeah, performers. you're right. Yeah. Throughout yeah. the three days, you got at least a yeah. hundred. Oh, yeah. and it's three days. Yeah, you're that's right. That's what I'm saying. At yeah, least right. 20 least. Should, 10, 20, 20 should, should be from be. the crib. Listen, but that's why I said they don't look to us for the, for the, for the next who's who. Like, nobody mentions Miami. Because the who's who's left. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like... Who's going to be able to carry that torch to kind of blow the door open? I believe. But well, it's not so many OGs pass the torch like that. Yeah. Right. But, you well, they have to pass the torch. Yeah, they okay. got to pass That's the torch. That's part of the game. Yeah. In Rick Roscoe signed McMill. Like, he ain't even from here. So I was like, well, so now well, what? Well, you got to remember, though, but <laughs> I mean, before the meet with the Noel, Wale, though. And Anuel. No, no, no. But listen, though, but he gave Triple C's a chance, though, right? He definitely did. And he gave, like, I think Wait. it was, like, two other people from the city, like, and he did features for niggas, too, like, so I, I think Ross he, he did his job. Him. Serp, <laughs> serp, serp, serp. I don't know what she got going on. He, he, pay, he, pay, he paid his dues in the culture, but what I'm saying is, I said Ross in, in a sense of the, the okay, like, Ross, Trick Daddy, who really they vouch for, besides Mike Smith with Trick Daddy? Other than that, what other artists, like, in a sense of the crib? That they really got their hand behind them. Okay, you may got Tapia with Dream Chasers, but Dream Chasers really not from here. It's not originally right. from here. MMG is. You get what I'm saying? So it's like. Right, but we don't really. Right now it's just a City Girls. <laughs> no, 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 but City Girls nah, sign a QC. That's quality, that's quality control. control. Oh. Bro, we it's only somewhere from here. It's only two labels from here that's well known outside yeah. of here, and that's Maybach Music and that's We the Best. Or oh, Slip and Slide, too. Yeah, yeah, but Slip and Slide hasn't had anybody. In, in how long? But they have a few single artists that pop. Had a single. I would say had a single. Yeah, but, yeah, I'm, but, but, like but you know what I mean. Wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Wise, uh, right? So yeah. it's like. Well, the they have Tanir. She's mainstream. Right. Other than that, I don't yeah. know. Other than that, I don't know. But she's the most mainstream artist that they have on the roster. We just go from coast to coast. Niggas. Yeah, Nia. Don't, I love Slip and Slide because that's the culture of, of the city. Yeah. But they're not going to mention Slip and Slide. They're going to mention Khaled would be the best. And they're mm-hmm. going to mention Rosé. Mm-hmm. Those are the two. What? That That's it. Well, I I Noel came question. from Maybach what, Music what, too, which is right. crazy. Well, yeah, I, I just found out about that. What, what yeah. about uh, 100K? That's from Broward, though. But what about 100K? You know, they had uh, Hot Broward. Boy and... Um, uh, Hot Boy's Manny, Fire. I forgot Hot Boy's yeah. Fire. What you think about that? Um, I really, I can't really speak on because I don't know too much about 100K. Oh, okay. I know about Hot Boy because... And they had King Von too. Yeah, like I did a I did a, a Christmas event like a year ago mm-hmm. with, with, with Hot, me and Hot Boy. I was a feature artist with Hot Boy, so 
So you got a record album? No, I don't have a record album. Oh, okay, you just, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just did a event together, right? Okay. So, but we just need more to break through so we can kind of get more recognition for the talent we have in South Florida. We have a lot of talent, bro. We do. We yeah. have singers, too. For years. Not only just, like forever, not it's only just been rappers, way, yeah. singers. Okay. Facts. A lot of female rappers, something. But this is why I created my company, Black Mogul, right? Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, uh, let's talk about that. How that all came about. Yeah, so um, I was on my way, actually, from L.A., from doing the BT Awards. I was on my way mm-hmm. flying back home. Slight flex, y'all. We'll go ahead. Slight yeah, flex. Slight flex. <laughs> slight flex. <laughs> slight flex. <laughs> slight flex. Uh, little flex. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, God was like, God told me, God said, yo, don't waste no more time. Do it. Mm-hmm. This was, like, right before pandemic hit. Oh, so Ooh, you were, like, perfect. that's probably so like, flight perfect time. Yeah, so, on. First thing I did when I got back, I had launched the Black Mogul brand. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, so as soon as I got back, I'm like, boom. I launched mm-hmm. I launched the clothing brand, the sneaker brand. This is all independent. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, my company is going to be everything. It's going to be the music. It's going to be this. And it's going to be the boo boo boo. You know what I'm saying? And I got my guys behind me. You know what I'm saying? Big Sean, King Chief, mm. um, OG Manny, who's been in the industry for a while now and then um i got my little bro who just got out of prison doing 15 years who wow. i'm we've been knowing each other since like oh five oh six and he just got home so now he's down with the family you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying so black mogul is just about you know what i'm saying it's about ownership because what i was seeing in the industry and in culture was you know we make all these other brands and yeah blowing everybody else up. blowing everybody else up but we don't support our own and yeah. we don't rock on, right? So I That's was like, a message. so I wanted to, um, I wanted to create something that when you put it on, it's just, you know, you put it on. From the crib. <laughs> but not just that, but it, I know when I put my shit it, on it. It feel good to have something on that's black owned and support. And it made me want to go, own. and it made me want to go, go out here and go close a million dollar deal. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying? Brings so, the confidence to it. Right. Mm-hmm. So when I launched the brand, I dropped, I dropped the theme record behind the brand, which is the Black Mogul record. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Is this from your clothing brand? No. No, no, no. no. I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't having much shit tonight, but. I was like, this is pretty fly, so. <laughs> no, no, no. I threw this on because I was like, I don't know what to put on tonight. Let me just throw on something comfortable tonight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so we launched that and shit like that. And then, you know, my management had their company with the Muye game shit. So it's just all about ownership, man, and just it, and just owning what you rock and owning what you stand for and you just stand on that. And, um. And we've been motivating people and inspiring people to kind of follow suit within the past yeah. few years of me launching a brand. Because cause as you can see now, you see a lot more people trying to start the whole merch and clothing yeah. and shit they like trying. that. Yeah, trying. yeah. Because <laughs> before that, it was just me. It was it, it was Berg. It was me. It was T-Row. And then it was... Mm-hmm. Um, and, then DZ the rapper with Culture Club. Shout yeah. out DZ like that. Like that's my bro. Yeah, I, I, man, we supposed to be in. Um, got it in on the on the platform and bring him in. When I hit him up, I say, bro, we need to do an interview. He told me, so I'm gonna send you my artist. I say, come on, man, <laughs> come down from that horse a little bit. Now, like, no, no, no. Let me tell yo DZ, but yo, come in hit back three radio. He thought I was bringing him as an artist. artist I say, bro, nah. I'm not bringing you as an artist. I'm bringing you as you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, your man. story Self. needs to be told. Yo, he, he, oh my bad. Yeah, so yo, now we finna figure his it out. platform that he created is. Mm. And, and we all need to put it together so it'll yeah. be like something we've been seeing each other have going on as right. far as Hit Factory and the culture clubs and stuff like that. So right. now we we kind of really bridging this conversation together once we have them in the studio. So Facts. We've Facts. already been working, man. And you're definitely a dope person for the culture, man. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We got some people, man, like T-Row, too, with the GZ, with the uh, Gold Cigar, excuse me, the Gold Cigar. Mm-hmm. Gang with his brand, like he been rocking out for some years, and and this nigga got shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit that he's doing is incredible. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to T Row too. So you know, it's a lot of guys out here doing their thing. Period. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it just take that one break and that one shot. You know what I'm saying? Yo, in fact, the radio's doing their thing too. And facts. <laughs> Yo, shout out to thing, y'all. Man. And I just want to say, got like eight seasons. Hey, can so I many, give y'all an exclusive? So can I give y'all an exclusive info? Because I don't oh, think too many people know. But okay. Serato yeah. probably knows because I know you pay attention to yeah, what I be okay. doing. Yeah. So s- back to the Jay Z shit. Like, okay. yo, my manager mm-hmm. is putting together something big, right? Mm-hmm. And we ain't gonna let the cat out too bad. But let's just say the whole whole conversation, you on point with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. You on point with that. And we ain't just talking a record. Oh. Okay, so we just going, yeah. We're going to leave it at that. Yeah, yeah we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. Let's not spill the whole bag. Yeah, man. Not too much. Not too much. Now, we ain't going to spill it. Um, And we did have some. Yo, I'm dropping something new tonight. I'm supposed to be dropping a video tonight. Uh, yo, CEO, I don't know if you're watching. I don't know if we dropping a video tonight. It's supposed to be tonight, but we could go ahead and let this 2 a.m. in Miami fly if you want to. Oh. Okay. You want to drop that exclusive? Yeah, let's drop it, man. You some know, that's exclusive, what we do. some that's exclusives. What we do. This is a Hit Factory Radio it's exclusive. That's what we're here to do. All right. So, yeah, we can go ahead and get into it. It's, uh, you say what, uh, 6 p.m. in New York, right? No, no, no. This is 2 a.m. in Miami. Oh. Man. This is 2 a.m. in Miami. It's about to get lit in the club right now. You're about to get your second bottle <laughs> coming through. Bitches oh. is getting their first, second, third glass right now. That's the one you said? It's getting hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I texted. It's getting you. hot and okay. heavy. Once 3 a.m. hits, you should be lit. <laughs> For that whole hour, you're going to be bumping Yo, and Fatima shaking that ass. Yo, is spicy over oh, here. I told Whatever you she's, she's spicy. Drinking, <laughs> she's spicy you want some without, it. without it. Without yeah, it, she's without spicy. It, spicy. <laughs> you want some honey? Nah. <laughs> All right, so yeah. We I mean, I'm sorry. It, man. Let's you want get some douce? Douce? <laughs> yeah, facts. If you, you got douce, yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, I'm on it. We'll be back. Main Street, Main Street dropping this exclusive, man. Yeah. Uh, if I ain't said it yet, I done said it all With no head starts, I'm still ahead of y'all Why scrap over crumbs if ain't no bread involved? Greatest rapper alive after I dead them all I'm too busy competing against my latest Too busy for y'all debates Comparing me to their favorites Too busy to take a break You know how long I done waited Too busy for women who need attention That's overrated It's funny, same things you paraded Can leave you jaded Chips on my shoulder, no poker Bet it all on the boy like we in Vegas. I bet it this far without their validation. On the road flow, this my graduation. All I ever needed was me and my niggas. Contemplating the scheming ways we can get richer. Pride to the vision, they ain't see the picture. Perfect time in my alignment got us in position. These days I'm feeling younger and better than ever. Whatever the weather. Mm. My rain on top, all seasons, fall even. Mm. Better question is, can they weather the pressure? Don't wait till I get it to give me my credit. The crown is all mine, you know where I'm headed. Whoever doubted me before, bet later regret it. I hear Manny talking now, niggas finish your breakfast. Before the meals came, I was meal prepping. Big Daddy came, boy, I'm still stepping. Over niggas like Tyrone lose. Never need a handout, no IOUs. I don't follow footsteps, rock my own shoes. Sleeping on who? Not me, I don't snooze. Hottest nigga in the game, my flow proves. I don't snooze, short tip it, I blow fuse. Fuck everybody else, follow my own rules, yeah. Black mobile be the set, nigga. Blood in, blood out, till the death, nigga. Yeah, till they put me to rest, nigga. Got my foot on their necks, like what's the breath, nigga? Word to Sean, word to Chief, nigga. Word to Manny, word to C, nigga. Word to Dwayne, word to Malik, nigga. Word to Lil' Bro, he just came home. Yeah, we fucking up the streets, nigga. One. Monday night, 7 to 10. Your Video dropping. Mainstream Monday. Mainstream, mainstream Monday. Mainstream Monday. Mainstream Monday. Video dropping. That might be dropping at night. Y'all might get this visual tonight. Ooh, period. Exclusive. That shit was fine. Flicks by Ed. Let's get this out tonight. CEO, let's get this out tonight. Yeah, man. I think you should. It's real nice. Okay. It's a real let's nice record. Yeah, it's we're going nice to start to yell, popping some. So, so, so we uh expecting an EP project. Uh. How we looking? Yeah, I'm gonna well, be we honest. Album, single by single. Um, well, well, last year that's what we did. Last year we just mm-hmm. dropped records. We, we was just dropping records and visuals. Um, I already got my album been in the bag for a year now. You know wow. what I'm saying? So you're holding it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's how great the music is. Like, um, I don't create music to match with trends or the sounds or whatever. Like, I just want to create what's great. Mm-hmm. And do you have like a pub deal or something? Um. Nah, I, I had one when I was signed to Kevin Little. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, so we don't have a, more independent. Yeah, yeah, so we you just, just independent. Just go to distro. Yeah, but okay. the thing is though, I, we just trying to decide because of the situation that we, you know, mm-hmm. whether we want to hold on to it or whether we want to wait if until. If it's five, 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 hold on to that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's five, five. Like, 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 it's, it's. Because you never know, you might need that nigga. 
it's that later. It's it's yeah. great, like extremely great music, and um, I just think it needs a big, 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 big budget shit behind it to really make big it make push. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Problem. So for right now, man, like I think what we gonna do, we are gonna drop a little small EPs just to keep the streets fed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like we Have always a nice work. Nice package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we always working. You know what I'm saying? We got music on top of music anyway. And I have to ask you to ask everybody is what the hell sign you are? I can't. I've been trying uh, to figure Aquarius. out. Aquarius. My birthday's wow. coming up. January 23rd. Big Aquarius. Best best sign in the Freaky. book. <laughs> Aquarius over there. Aquarius, man. Best sign. So, so, so we're going to let the Capricorns have their fun. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We're going right, to let the Capricorns. Jan. January. <laughs> they ain't making no noise, don't they? No, no, no. no so. They ain't making no noise. Just Aquarius got all the noise. Mm-hmm. My sister in Aquarius. Facts. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat them. You got to join us. You got to join us. It's We're all, all air signs. It's all good. That. Yours? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, what you mean? Oh, shit. We air signs. We cousins. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? For the sake of one of my sons being a Gemini, mm-hmm. you good in my book. Yeah. Why? Well, she going to be the rawest one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's wow. extremely loving though. Like him and, and my baby boy is a Capricorn. Oh. And my baby girl is an Aries. Are y'all gonna get along like this though? Capricorn and, and Aquarius get along like Yo, this. Yo, he's like Yeah, yeah, he'll yeah. get along like that. Yeah. So mm-hmm. does Gemini, so have fun. You have all three <laughs> all three of y'all gonna be like <laughs> Y'all gonna leave the Aries behind. The Aries gonna, gonna be like It's Fuck gonna be a y'all. handful. It's gonna <laughs> be a handful. Just know that. Trust me, my house be lit. Yeah, well yeah, and then Aries <laughs> fire sign. <laughs> This <laughs> and, and my wife oh, is a Pisces, you. so she runs oh, the house. Oh wow, yeah, she makes everybody oh, yeah. calm the She's fuck a down. She's She's the yeah. one making sure that yeah, everybody, man, everything's she... copacetic. But when she blows up, everybody run. Yeah, yeah, we gotta run. Run yeah, for gave, your lives. Yeah, man, she gave you the look. I'm like, it's time to get out of Dodge, boy. Mm-hmm. You better go. <laughs> it's, time, it's time to go hide somewhere. <laughs> but it takes a real long time for to, for them to get there. They're actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You hold it down. Facts. Aquarius gang, okay. Yeah. Big time, big time. <laughs> birthday right, so coming up, Serato. We might have yeah, to Yeah, what y'all do, y'all? Yeah. Double that's, birthday. That's what I was, that's what I was just going to get into. So, you know, upcoming and what's what's uh, next to be coming up in stores for you, man? Uh, let the people know uh, what you got coming um, up. What's cooking like the next now? I really do want to drop an EP or something, man. I want to drop something for the streets because last year all we did was drop singles and videos and shit. So I really want to put something together. Um, Cause you remember what happened last time when we did when I dropped the luxury rap shit, mm-hmm. and you know we had the MX ninety five with King Hoodie and um and Fly Guy, yes, all over the radio for a year straight that with that slide. record. You know what I'm saying? And um, so yeah, man, we, we might put something together. I don't know if it'll be a luxury rap too. I don't know if it'll be a EP or something. But we gonna put something together, man. Cause we just been cooking up, man. We we been cooking up. You know what I'm saying? So just stay tuned. Pay attention. We got a lot of things in store. Yo, I got a movie coming out. Yeah, a movie? How you, how you forget that? You got to mention all <laughs> What that? movie? Yo, Where is it on? Yo, I'm featuring in the movie coming out sometime first or second quarter of this year. It's called Cuzzo featuring Cuzzo. Mike Smith. Mike Smith. Okay. Okay. Shout out to my big bro, director Antoine Smith. He the one who got me in the movie. So this is my like first movie role. Okay. Wow. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah so we yes, got sir. that coming. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody that's a part of that situation and a part of that project. Period. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, gonna be man. fire. Okay, Aquarius. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, we working, man. We this working. That's what we do, man. Yeah, we working. We it working. It was the year of the Aquarius, am I not mistaken? No, is it? I hope it's so. It's gonna be the year of cancer. It's, it's, no, it's, it's always, ending. It, the it's Aquarius. Always the Aquarius. The year of Aquarius. The Aquarius is already ending. Now it's gonna be the year of cancer. Dan Serato, we ending? No, nah, it's always the no? year of, uh, you know, Aquarius. Yeah, it's whatever. Always, okay. It's continuous. Yeah, yeah man. We anyway, not one. according to the stars, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, man, but we, um, yo, me and Serato got to do something, man. We yeah, gotta yeah, I got to do a double birthday. Work. What date's yours? Things, On the 23rd. 23rd. You at the end already. You almost a Pisces. Yeah. Well, mine's is February 11th. Oh, okay. So y'all oh, can man, meet we in the middle, dance all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do something. We could put something together. I don't I don't know what we're going to do, but we could do something. We'll make some shake. Yeah, yeah we can make some shake. Yeah, big time, big time. Okay. Uh-huh. Definitely. Uh, continue. Chime in. I mean. First of all, I want to know. Excuse me. Are you convinced? I'm convinced. You're pretty talented. Okay. I want to say yes. I'm convinced. All right, bet. Green check mark. Thumbs up. Green check. All right. 
Facts. He got my approval. Approval? Yo. He's mm. good. Everybody, she gave me the thumbs up. I gave him the thumbs up. It's good. He's yes, good. sir. He's cleared. He's cleared. Yo, we got a... Mm-hmm. A big time supporter that gave me the... I, got, I ain't get one thumb. I got two thumbs up. Thanks, two Serato. Thumbs I appreciate up. it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm a harsh critic, too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm very harsh. I appreciate the criticism. I'll play that. Mm-hmm. If it sucks, I'd be like, eh. You would have told me? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would have been like, mm. No, no, I fucks with that. That's how I need a little more. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Back to the lab. No, but you did great. You did great. I really did liked good? it. Thank good, you. Good Thank records. Good records. Well mixed and mastered. A1. A1. I'm sure yeah. visuals are going to be A1 as well. Oh, yeah, the big shit video is out. upcoming shows, performances you're going to do? Um, um, I know New Year's already passed, but January is setting off, so. Um, we haven't really set up the schedule yet, so we're going to see what's popping within the next few months. We're just trying to see how we want to move and okay. just move around. Definitely um, go to Boston and meet up with Dutch. Yo, last Dutch year, Rebel. you know. <laughs> you got to meet Shawty up. <laughs> you got to perform that over there and be like, yo, hold on. Yo, hopefully we can get on Rolling Loud this year. Are you dumb? Hopefully we get on rolling loud. Yo, last year I went to New York. I performed at uh, one of the legendary spots in New York, mm-hmm. and um, and that shit was crazy. Um, shot a video in Nas Hood. Wow. While okay. I was up there. Dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you know what I'm saying. So this year maybe just kind of take it up another another notch. You know what I'm saying. Just improve. Okay. Try to improve on everything. Improve on the brand. Improve on the music. Improve on the visuals. You know what I'm saying? Just do more interviews like this one with dope people like this thing well, you here. Can, of course, you got to come back with some updates and, like and that, stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is just the first time. And, All right, look, Serato, you know, so here's family. how we're going to do it. We when family, I get so ready to make these. things come through, man. You know? w- when the big announcement is ready, I'm mm-hmm. coming to you first. Of course. Let's get to it. It's only right. So, yeah, Fatima, for so Fatima, so you can hold me to it. I, I got you. I will. I will talk shit. You, you know, got candy? Can you share no candy? What is that? You want some candy? Mm-hmm. What is that? It's a lifesaver. Lightsaber gummies. Facts. <laughs> oh yeah, she got the candies. I usually bring nine liters, but I ain't stopped to get no nine liters today. Thank mm. you. Mm-hmm. I like nine liters. Nine yeah. liters and Twizzlers, man. <laughs> we got some douce. <laughs> if you want to shop. <laughs> definitely. Okay, definitely. We want to thank uh, you for coming through, man. Of course, and and, and um, dropping gems. Of course, for team of first time, you know, physically hands on meeting you and getting to know you. Getting to know a, a little bit of your background with your music and the, and the culture of what what you've been through, what you're going through, and what you got going on next now. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, you know, you got to come back and give us some more updates when you got some more d- updates to release or you know bring out over. You know what I'm saying? So for sure, you know, you you, fa- you family, but you always been family. You get what I'm saying? For sure, okay. that's right. So everything that you got going on, just tap in with us. You know what I'm saying? Is a tag away or is a DM a message away? Now you got my numbers, a text message away, for or sure. phone call away. You know what I'm saying? So that's facts. Shout out to the whole. Mo- Mouye Gang, mm-hmm. shout out to CEO Kev Cam, Dream Rain, Hollywood Brittany, Shy, Gigi, everybody in Mouye Gang, the whole camp. Shout out to my Black Mogul family, y'all know what's up. And we finna shut the streets down for 2023, man. It's only right. Okay. Jordan year, a Oh, it is Jordan year. I heard somebody say that the other yeah, day. I've seen a few people say it. Okay. Balling. All right, so definitely, um... Uh, you want to tell the, uh, people how to follow you, how to get the music, how to download the merch, how to, you know, oh, tap yeah. into all your, so your, y'all can, your platforms um, and your websites. And follow me on Instagram, I am Cash. That's I A M C A S H E. And you can follow uh, the Black Mogul clothing page, Black Mogul collection. And you can follow Black Mogul ENT. Um, the site to go purchase. All of the clothing and products and stuff like that is blackmogulcollection.shop. And do you ship out to the Europe? We ship everywhere. Okay. Because so we, we, we stamped in the U.S. We charted in the U.K. Yeah, we're charting in the U.K. Yeah. So we have a lot Listen. of U.K. Mainstream fans. Oh, everybody listening in the U.K. UK. Yeah, Yo, shout out to y'all. Follow I got, me. I got, we ain't talking about just being heard. We charted. Yo, listen, yeah. speaking of the UK, I love the UK. I toured over there. Shout out to them. I hope they know you. Yeah, listen, I toured over there when I had the Ring the Alarm record with Kevin. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they showed me a lot of love over there. I got I got some it's supporters over there. Yeah, I like that. It's it's just like I'm us so over happy there. there. Yeah, man. And, and in Canada, so shout out to them too. Facts. So shout out to the UK and Canada too. Y'all go copy some black mobile uh, clothing or whatever you like. I got purses. We got we'll bags. ship to you, baby. We we'll ship right to you. It's coming to your doorstep. Mm-hmm. Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Definitely. Uh, so what we're going to do is get into uh, some pictures, uh, get into a B-roll, get a drop, you know, from you and everything. Right. And, we're um, closing out? Yeah, we can go ahead and close out. 
you know, we supposed to close at ten. <laughs> well, we but, passed uh, that now. Yeah, yeah, of course, but it was it was for a great. It was purpose fun. It was for fun. The I guests, you know what I'm saying? I he had to give out more it. of his content. Give out more of him, who he is as an artist, what he came, you know, came from. We did a little overtime. What he got going on, and that's cool. I like that. We, hey, listen. It was worth it, right? No, nobody it was worth it. It was fun. And yeah. I wanted her to get to know you a little more as well, so that's why I was getting, you know, facts. Because I, I I know bro for a while, and I just uh-huh. wanted it more updated, more. Uh, Accurate more mm-hmm. versus just through social media type, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Right, and then right. now we hands on, and now we're we gonna really get the ball now rolling gonna be as far as you know, on what I'm the saying? YouTube, yeah, right. man. Of course, every video, every footage of interviews is uh, you know, published on YouTube, I would say. And um, shout out to our camera guy, Birdo, you know, what I'm shout out to Birdo, yeah, shout out to Birdo, production crew, make sure we laced up with all cameras, all angles, too. So, definitely, uh, continue. Right, so check out our website, www.hitfactoryradio.com. If you're looking for our show or any videos, they will be there. And tune in next week for more Henny and Tea. I'm your girl, Fatima, that baby. Um, 7 to 10, Mainstream Mondays, you know. <laughs> Period. Henny and Tea. And um, y'all can follow the kids, Serato Kids, Serato Kid 954. On Instagram, uh, any business, my email is djyoungmall at gmail.com. And if you really serious, you're ready right now, cash out, dollar sign, Serato Kid 954. Cha-ching. We'll get the job done <laughs> ASAP. No rocking. Mm. Yes, sir. So definitely, we appreciate the special guests for coming through. And of course, we'll be back in the building, same time, same place. Until next, next week, week, we out of here. Peace. God bless y'all. Uh. You're tuned in to Mainstream Monday. Mainstream you know what it feel like. Uh.